time to um, just thank you for being someone who is just full of grace and love and puts Jesus first. Uh, I remember a couple months ago hearing that your home caught on fire and that was like a Saturday and then here you are on Sunday at church and you just inspired me so much on how much how great it is to just trust Jesus so do I, I just really want you to share what that day was like I know it's not gonna be easy yeah. but if you could share with Absolutely. us on Saturday, September 22nd, I woke up to the sound of smoke alarms going off, realized the smoke alarms were coming from my basement, and there was a decent sized fire just going on down there. So I woke up my father, woke up my children, and we went outside and we called the fire department. And about 10 minutes later, they showed up, and of course by that time, there was so much smoke damage and when they went in with the water, there was just water damage, and it's been a nightmare. It's been long, it's been it hard has. on the kids. It has. Hmm. it has. Share a little how the kids are feeling. The kids are kind of starting over. I mean, every toy they owned, every picture almost that we had is just gone now. Hmm. I mean, we lost 99% of everything we had. I know that you've had some really good friends and neighbors that have been supporting you, the Denison family Absolutely. that have been the helping Denison you. The Denison family took us in for a few weeks. The day, I mean, the day of the fire, there was no questions asked. It was just, Crystal, bring the kids, come stay with us for as long as you need to. And they're just amazing people. Arundel Christian Church has um, purchased a $1,000 gift card for you and the kids to use oh for decorations, goodness. food, needs, whatever, whatever is going to work out for Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm super excited. I know that'll be helpful. It will, it will. It'll be so helpful. I know also when you moved into the, um, the apartment, you still have to pay utilities. Yes. Isn't that correct? Yes. That's, that's a monthly yes, crazy. It definitely is. Super. Well, guess what? We're gonna help you in that area as well. We have prepaid for three months of your BG&E bill. So here's your, yeah, oh you just my have goodness. to turn that in. And so there's a little more money that you don't have to oh worry about and you can Thank spend you. on taking care of the house. So um, what else is going on with the furniture and stuff? I've had family and friends give me various things. My cousin has given the children beds for when we move back home. Just right now, we don't have anywhere to keep that stuff in the meantime. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So Where I does just, it go? Can you hold this? Can you hold that? Can you hold this? But it's going to be an indefinite amount of time until right. my I house know. is able to be lived in again. So, Well, public storage and Arundel Christian Church have paid for six months of your storage time. This is your code and your keys. And this is oh your goodness. contract. So there, now the next six months, that's going to free up some money. Absolutely. Well, that works for you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just really have enjoyed getting to know you more. You serve on our host team every morning. And like I said, right after that Saturday, you were in here and you were like, yep, where else would I be? Absolutely. God's taking care of Absolutely. me. Absolutely. And the one last take care of that he wants to do for you is we have paid for the next eight weeks of your daycare. Oh my goodness. So this that is you huge. this is huge. You can focus on your kids and your Christmas and getting that house done. Thank you guys so much. Is this gonna, is amazing. Is that gonna be a big help for you? Oh my gosh, this is the best Christmas gift ever. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, Miss Lisa, as I told you, um, I uh, when I think of generosity, I think of you as one of the most generous people I know. Um, can you tell me just a little bit about like how long you've been here uh, with Arundel Christian Church? Kind of a um, well, so we started back in Christmas of '04. We mm -hmm. left for a couple of years because I was very active at the Salvation Army in Annapolis, mm -hmm. and then we came back and been here since. I don't know for the last three and a half years, I guess back steady. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your job here in the community with the kids. Um, so I work for Salvation Army over on Crane Highway and mm -hmm. I do the after school and summer camp programs. Mm -hmm. I'm the director of the program so we have school age children there keeping them busy and out of trouble and yeah. that type of thing. That's great. 
That's great. I know you walked here today. Uh, tell me a little bit about your vehicle that you have. It's broke. It's broke? <laughs> yeah. That's what we yeah. always want to start when it's supposed to start. So. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm trying to get in shape. Yeah, trying to get in shape. Come out and about. Good. Yeah. Good. Now, uh, you and I, we're going to talk today about um, doing something here on the property uh, in honor of, of, of your son, whom you've lost uh, just in August. And I'm sure that this holiday season coming up, being some of the first holidays without him, are probably definitely difficult for you and, and your, your daughter as you kind of face that without him. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. yeah, because he passed September 19th mm -hmm. is when he passed. So yeah. we made it through Thanksgiving, and now we got Christmas coming up. So. Gotcha. Well, I wanted you to know that, uh, you know, you and I talked about uh, doing something, uh, a bench or something in honor of, of Brandon here uh, on the property. Um, and we want you to know as part of our generous um, initiative that we're doing here at the church that we uh, plan to cover the cost of doing some type of bench out oh, here okay. uh, in his honor. Uh, and we'll awesome. let, let you kind of help, you know, help us pick that out and make sure it's something that you guys love and, and, and enjoy um, uh, out here on the property. So we would like to do that. Uh, but we also have some other, uh, another surprise for you. Um, but for that surprise, we have to go outside. So we partnered with a, a car dealership out in Pasadena, Maryland, uh, Sports and Imports and we partnered with them to get you this uh, new car that we have just for you. This for me? For, for you. For you, for real. Oh my God. This one is for you. Oh my God. <laughs> for real. For real. You are one of the most generous people that I know and we want to, uh, to share in generosity. Oh, thank you. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Hey Mike, uh, thanks for uh, letting me kind of sneak in uh, an opportunity to sit down and chat with you. I know that uh, I was a bit under false pretenses I brought you here, but I wanted to, as I was saying in the car, I wanted to give you an opportunity to talk about what God's been doing in your life. I know that uh, you've been struggling with a, a disease called sickle cell, and uh, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind telling me what that what that's like and how that feels. and. Uh, if you've ever had like a broken arm or broken leg, it's like trying to walk on that or um, it feels like somebody's just, he said, the doctor said literally taking a knife and jamming it into your leg and twisting it. Um, so when the weather changes or um, if you don't eat right, like you have to be very adamant about taking care of your body, um, staying warm, not being too stressful. And those are about the only ways you can stay healthy, but in this world, it kind of doesn't really work with life. So you're, you're married, uh, a beautiful wife, yes. and two beautiful daughters. And your wife right now is at work, right? She is um, a bank teller in Annapolis. So tell me, how has a sickle cell affected your ability to work, and how are, how are you making money, and what does your uh, living situation, income situation look like? Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm suffering a lot, so it's hard to find a job that you can do on your own time. So I work and drive for Uber when I have the ability to. Like you said, if it ain't too bad, like sometimes I can get on the road, but even sit in the same spot, I mean, body and pain is it's kind of hard, so. You know, we're in the middle of our generous series, and as a church, we are exercising what it means to be generous to brothers and sisters in our church and in our community. And you've been an inspiration to me, and um, seeing how God is working through you and, and, and helping you be a man in your family in the midst of this difficulty. Uh, we want to be a blessing to you. So we have a gift that we want to give to you and your family. And uh, I can't show it to you in here, but i got to take you outside to give it to you. Want to go? <laughs> Mike, we want to want to bless you, brother. And we uh, have this, uh, this Chrysler Town and Country minivan for you. I'm telling you, this thing has the works. Uh, got brand new tires on it. Got taxes and tags on it for you. Got a full tank of gas in there for you. Come, come check this thing out. Let me show you. <laughs> Oh 
Am I? Hmm. God is good, brother, isn't he? I, I pray that through this gift, you'll be able to keep earning an income for your family as you're, as you're driving. Your wife has a reliable vehicle to get back and forth to Annapolis and 